Greetings, friends. This week is my mother's birthday week. She would have been 99. And I want to tell you a little, a little bit about her departure because it's important to understand how she uh, ended up going to heaven. My father and her were married in 1991, and he died in 2005. And then she was around uh, for a few more years. And she was in and out of the hospital a couple of times, but basically pretty healthy. And then finally, she uh, developed a, a, a stomach cancer. And she wanted the doctor to take it out because she didn't like the C word. And he told her, look, at you know, 86, you don't need to do this. But she insisted. So I flew down from Connecticut and joined my brother and sisters. And, and she had the surgery and she was, she was doing okay. And then uh, she went back in the hospital after about five weeks. And then at the end of the um, three or four days, they said they were going to move her into a nursing home. Now, in my mom's mind, she remembered that my dad had been moved from the hospital to a nursing home. He never left. He was there like four years. And so in her mind, she thought, I can't do that. I cannot live in a nursing home. And so I went down to see her again, and then I flew back. And then the day I left, or the day after, my brother and two sisters met with her. And my mother said, look, I'm going home to be with your father tonight. Now, she was fine. She was lucid. She made some changes to her funeral service that she had written sometime earlier. And she gave it to my, my siblings. And then she went to sleep that night and she said, I'm going to be with your dad. And she never woke up. Think about it. She went to sleep that night and didn't wake up because she said she was going to go be with her husband, my dad. And so she really died a, a, a painless death. And somebody went, and my family said, hey, you know, we knew your mom had strong will, but not that strong a will. Well, you know what? It was just a beautiful story because she knew where she was going. She knew that heaven was her home. And so she died at 86. My dad was 88, a few years older than her. But in 2009, uh, she went to heaven. So this, you know, this, this week I was looking at the calendar and I thought her birthday's coming up and I just wanted to pay her tribute. But the tribute is this, that my mom died with absolute no fear. She died thinking that she was going to heaven and she went to heaven. I don't know how that happened. In fact, I'm still amazed when I talk about it. But it's the absolute truth. She's in heaven. My dad's in heaven. Someday we're going to be in heaven. Because when we die, we're going to be in the arms of God, redeemed by the blood of Jesus. And the resurrection hope is that we're going to live forever with him. How all that works after death and until the second coming, I don't know. But I do know the blessed assurance that when we, we die in Christ, uh, we are in heaven. So a tribute to my mom. She'd have been 99, but I don't think that she would have given these last 13 years up to be in heaven with, with um, my dad, her husband. Why would she come back to this planet and go through all the stuff that would move her from 86 to 99, the ailments, the frustrations, and so on? So look, I hope God grants us all a long life, keeps us healthy, our minds sound. But when the time comes to call us home, take us home. We're going to get a new body, no more tears, sorrow, or suffering. So, Mom, happy birthday. I wish you'd have been 99, but I know you're in heaven, and I can celebrate with you there. One day we'll be together. Amen? And someday, if you die in Christ, you'll be with us too. You'll be with those loved ones that have died in Christ and will rise again to everlasting life. I hope this has been pleasant for you. I just wanted to share it because I felt I wanted to honor my mom and a great faith she had in Jesus Christ, crucified and risen. If you want to reach out, hit the comment button or go to my webpage, paulteskeministries.com. Share a prayer request. I will get back to you. Go to my YouTube page. If you want to get my book, The Father's Blessing, it's in audio, print, or, or, uh, or digital. It's available on Amazon. People have been asking me, how do I get your book? Go to Amazon. Amazon has it all and can send you whatever copies you want and so on, all right? So listen, my prayer for you is to have the peace of the Lord that one day when you cross the threshold, you'll know that you know that you know that you'll be in heaven. Amen? Amen. Go in peace and serve the Lord. And all God's people said, amen.